Hello guys, I've created a simple tool for you to use which is completely free and it allows you to put up to four functions into one key on your keyboard in Counter-Strike 2. It's completely legit and it's been around for some years and Mr. Maxim was doing many videos about it which got me inspired into making this tool I'm about to show you. But first things first, let me show you how great it works in the game so you know what we are talking about. By the way, English is not my native language so I hope this video will be understandable. Anyway, if I'll hold mouse button 4 and press Z, I'll buy Molly. If I'm still holding mouse button 4 and press X, I'll buy Smoke. C is for flash and V is for HE grenade. Simple. I hope that you have already, as I am, specific binds for each grenade. So if I'll just simply, without holding anything, press Z, I'm gonna select the Molotov. X for smoke. Flash is kinda different in this case. In my case, uh, Q is for flash and V is for grenade. But if I'll hold mouse button 5 and press Z, I'm gonna sell the Molotov. X is for smoke, C for flash and V for grenade. I'll just sold every utility, bolt and salt and select without entering the buy menu. And if I'll press and hold mouse button 3 and select the same buttons again, Z, X, C, V, I'm gonna directly drop the nades from the buy menu. And I have those bins for everything and it's super convenient and I can show you an example of why is so good because you can just be turning around with your mouse and running with keyboard of course and you are not blocked by the buy menu you know you can at the start of the round look at your teammates what is everyone buying what are their spawns what they're deciding what is the call for the round maybe and maybe you'll throw an insta smoke and if you throw an insta smoke you can insta I just sold the flash, so let me show you again. I'll throw an insta smoke and I can insta buy another flash. Many people are not doing this, you know, they, they throw the insta smoke and they not rebuying the one utility they can have more. Maybe this or you just running, you just running this way and teammate is screaming, ah oh, guys, why nobody dropped me? So you can just run, turn around and drop to him. You don't need to stop, uh, search, press control and click. You know, you don't need to lose your timing, uh, your spawn advantage, uh, yada yada yada. And another cool thing that you can just leave those buttons around your fingers unaffected by default. So tap is scoreboard, control is crouch, F is uh, look at weapon for an instance, okay? But if I hold mouse button 4 and press control, I'll buy Zeus. If I hold mouse button 4 and press tap, I'll buy XM. And if I'll, uh, if I'll hold mouse button 4 and press F, I'm gonna buy myself a little, little vest. Little vest. I'm gonna sell little vest. I'm gonna buy bigger vest. I'll shoot, I'll reload. But if I hold mouse button 5 and press R, I'm gonna sell the big vest. The vest with helmet, you know. Okay, okay. That's, that, that's kinda it. I think you get the point. So, as I've been saying, I've been inspired by the video which Mr. Maxim was doing. And it's kinda difficult because you need to manually, like, edit the config. And you need to have a lot of things in mind. And it's kinda hard to edit or for people to understand. Which I think is the main reason why not many people are using this so even I had a problem with it I was rewriting it all it took me hours and when I had some mistake it was hard for me to spot where the mistake is located and when you want to do a different bindings you need to rewrite everything and test it before you play and yada yada yada, yada stuff like this you know so I've created this finally I can show you the tool. The tool is currently located at combinator.czmarv.net. If anything changes, it will be just updated in the descriptions. There are many other links you can check, you know. So, as I've mentioned, it's completely for free. But if this tool helped you a lot, you can say thank you through Steam trade link or coffee donation, you know. But I'm not forcing you guys. So, allow me to go easy on you guys so you can better understand. So, at first, you need to input a key you want to combine. So, let's test it out on letter O. We type O. What's the default command? What's it gonna do when we just press letter O? Let's say, say, test O. Default, maybe. So when I press O, it will say test O default in the chat. Now we can set up second, third and fourth command. You know, that's what this tool is for. So let's maybe kind of replicate the stuff we did with utility, but for smoke. So 
I've created a little cheat sheet you can see on the left. I'll type in smoke and then in the categories here, I'll see only the smoke item. In the category use item, we're not gonna be using this or maybe we can in this case, okay? So we're gonna change this. It's gonna do when we press the letter O, it will select slot eight, which is for smoke. Second command with the combinator mouse four is for buying the smoke and then selling the smoke and dropping the smoke. We have all those three actions now set up to key letter O. By default, the second combinator is most four, third combinator is most five, and fourth combinator is most three. I think this is the most convenient way, but if you want, you can do it differently maybe, okay? So let's, let's test it out already. So I'll just type here J, K, and L. Also, if you don't want those three functions, additive functions to your one button, you can simply turn those two off maybe, or only one. Okay, so it will have now only those two functions. But in this case, and in my opinion, I'm using all those three because uh, it's worthy, it's worthy, so why not? And when we have set it up, uh, let's do it kinda again to rethink it through. Uh, the key letter O, when we press O, we select the smoke. Second command, when we hold J, we buy smoke grenade. When we hold K, we sell back the smoke grenade. And when we hold L, we gonna drop the smoke from the buy menu. And we have our first letter combined, UP. So we just click on copy and it will say configuration copied. Configuration copy to clipboard. Now you can paste it at the end of your config. So that's what we are about to do. Let's say this is our config. We have some stuff here and we want to go at the end of the config and press control V to pass the information from the side. Now we just simply save it. I'm back in my game and I'm just gonna do exec test. And if you remember the configuration I just did, when I'm holding J and press O, I'm gonna buy smoke. When I'm holding K and press O, I'm gonna sell the smoke. And when I'm holding L and press O, I'm gonna drop the smoke from the buy menu. I'm gonna then pick up the smoke again and I just simply press only O and I'm gonna select the smoke. Okay, this is working fine, but we want to combine more letters on our keyboard. So let's just click on new comp and uh, we can do stuff for, let's say control and we already do a new combination for alt. And last thing in this example is gonna be setting up the key alt. So we click on alt and we need to set up its default function. On my side, I have plus voice record which stands for push to talk on my keyboard and we need second command third and fourth command which stands for the combination as you already know so let's say we're gonna be putting it avp and avp is not here what is happening so this is kind of different when you're working with weapons it is gonna be by the position in your loadout menu okay so uh, I remember correctly that I have AVP on slot 5 in my buy menu, which is rifle. So let's say we're gonna place 5 here only and buy items. So it's rifle, it's on the right side. It's not mid-tier, it's not pistol, it's avupa. So it's rifle 5. So buy item here, sell item, drag here and drop item here. Now we click again on copy. We're gonna rewrite the stuff we had previously. We're gonna hit Control S for saving it. And back in my game, I'm just gonna exit the config again, which is in this case only test. And now when I hold J and press Alt, I'm gonna buy AVP. When I hold K and press Alt, I'm gonna sell it. And L holding, pressing Alt is gonna drop the AVP on the ground. And let's not forget, if I'm just only holding Alt, it's working by its default, like push to talk. And maybe you are asking what are those fixes here? So in this example with plus voice record on alt, sometimes can happen when you're holding alt and rapidly after you execute maybe a buy rifle four, but when you're still talking, it can happen that the plus voice record will not be ended and you will still be talking when you're not holding any button, okay? So that's the fix for it, simple. So in this case, it's a voice fix, 
it doesn't matter if you have all those fixes enabled it can do any harm only do good and uh, it means when you release the combination it will force those aliases to be turned off to be ended okay so you don't get stuck in a loop when you rapidly switch between combinations press key for talking and now you see that you're still talking and not holding any button it's stressful so this is the fix for it i strongly suggest to have it enabled when you decide to put uh, combinations for some default key like reload inspect weapon crouch walk etc etc let me show you one more thing so we're gonna create a new combination it's gonna be on tab key tab and by default it's gonna be say hello we're gonna copy it here and edit uh go rush b okay so now we have four letters set up but we don't want letter o anymore so we just simply as you maybe already guessed click on o and click delete and o is no more we have three buttons here we click on copy again we're gonna rewrite the stuff we have in our current config press ctrl s to save it and when we back in our game we just type exec test okay and now when i press tap it's gonna say hello when i hold j tap is it say go k tap go rush l tap go rush b it's easy it's working and the last thing guys i'm gonna show you it's the reverse engineering okay so when you exit the site and come back in the future or you just simply refresh there will be nothing here your settings are no more but when you go back to your config where you have your settings put in as you did and you just copy them and click on button load and paste in your settings from your config those settings you cut from this side and click on load you will get your settings back so you can create a new combination edit the previous ones or delete them or do some changes and stuff it's up to you this is how my config looks like and at the end i have this okay so this is the output from this website so i'm just gonna click on copy and load and paste it in for you guys if you want to see or get inspired of course i'll input it in the video description it will be probably some past bin link and here i can see what bins i have for specific buttons and i can even edit this in the future how i would like it more and that's it so if you have any question or something is not working or you just want to say hello you can put it into comments down below the video and i'm gonna see you sometimes again maybe thank you for your time have a good one i hope my tool will be useful for you and bye bye